welcome back to my channel daniel here from golden finds and we are back with another video you guys saw i did stop at portos in the city of buena park if you've never had porter saint portos and you're in california and you're near one definitely go they have such delicious treats they're all cuban um baked goods and deliciousness and they have foods and so it's just not just a bakery they have like sandwiches they have soups they have stuff like everything kind of like a like you know like um a deli not really but you know you know what i mean you guys they have like a big assortment of things they're known of course for their pastries and their cakes so i am celebrating or we are celebrating me and my family and my dad's birthday this weekend so his birthday is on october and we are celebrating it this weekend so i of course it's always a tradition that i always get them a portos cake and it's the tres leches the that cake is so delicious you guys it's absolutely so good and their whipped cream everything is so good i can't talk about it enough my favorite pastry from them are the cheese rolls which is like this flaky crust uh, pastry with cream cheese filling and then it's like caramelized sugar on the top oh my god it is to die for i love it so i haven't decided yet i might make this into like a day of the life vlog i'm not too sure i do have a few stops that i want to try and make it out to today um i'm actually splitting up my weekend into like i usually only go thrifting on saturday but this time i'm going to be um cutting it in half so saturday and then sunday so today i want to hit up a lot of stores to see what i find for christmas i you guys know that christmas is already out like there's a lot of stores tj maxx home goods marshall's walmart is starting to release all of their christmas collection so i want to go and see what is out there and share with you guys what i find so i haven't decided I'm waiting for Ross to open. I'm also going to check out Ross. Ross also has had their stuff um, already released. You guys can see it in the background. I'm just waiting for them to open. I had a really early start. Um, Portos opens at 6.30 in the morning. So I was there like at 6.30ish. Um, because I wanted to get that cake fast. Because Portos gets extremely busy. They get really, really packed, you guys. Uh, so I wanted to get that out of the way. I dropped that off at my mom's house um and then came over here i just went to walmart which you guys will see the footage um if i add it on here i haven't decided yet again if it's gonna be a day in the live vlog or something like that um but yeah i'll 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 see i'm not too sure yet um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and check out a few stores i have to make uh, i have a long list of places to go i have to go to target ross i wanted to go to walmart which i already did um marshall's tj maxx and a few thrift stores so it's gonna be a jam-packed day but i have to cut it fast i'm gonna actually be doing things really really fast but anyway if you guys are new to my channel welcome my name is daniel here on golden finds if you guys like thrifting estate sales vintage finds christmas halloween decorating and so much more this is the channel for you i welcome you guys to become a part of the family here on golden finds hit that subscribe button make sure you guys are hitting the notification bell so you're notified of all my weekly videos and as always for my returning subscribers thank you so much you guys for always coming back i don't like these these are joe's my hubby um i don't like these i feel like they look too boyish which i know i'm a boy okay i get it um but i just don't like them they don't look chic they don't look cute they're ray-bans but i just feel like they're really boyish ray-bans but I need something because I lost the ones. I always misplace the ones that I have that you guys usually see me on. So I'm waiting for Ross to open. They might already be open. So let me check what time it is and I will meet you guys inside the stores. They are open already. This store is in the city of Anaheim for my locals. Anaheim has actually quite a few stores. So I'm going to hit up a few. We are here at Ross, you guys, and I'm so excited to be shopping for Christmas decor. 
So as of right now, it looks like the stores are barely bringing out their inventory. Some stores are getting a lot more than others. So definitely check all the stores that you can. Don't just go to one store. Go to multiple if you can, just because some stores are bringing out more than others. These really cute sip cups are so adorable. I love the iridescent colors. These are really nice, you guys. They would definitely make a nice gift at $17.99. They're just really cute. I love the theme of the ornament sippy cup. And then there's these cute garlands. It's a six foot garland of gingerbread girls and boys with candy, peppermint candies and little bonbons. That was $8.99. Now they do have a wide arrangement of different mugs. They always do. Ross always brings out some like really nice mugs for the Christmas season. So it's always so nice to see what they have in store. Another item that they've been getting a lot of recently is now Blue Sky. I've noticed that they've been carrying a lot of it, especially during the Halloween season. I found a lot of Blue Sky and now they're also bringing a lot of Christmas Blue Sky pieces. So all of these were Blue Sky. They were really cute and adorable. I don't decorate with these type of ceramics just because I don't really feel like they go with my style. I do have like one or two Blue Sky pieces, but they are very very rare that i'll actually pick up an actual piece to bring home but i love these vintage inspired little trays these little plates these are made out of ceramic these would be really cute appetizer plates for a christmas party and i just love how vintage inspired they are Aren't these so adorable? I absolutely love this little teapot. This teapot is so cute. The spout is the top of the Christmas tree. So I just think this is so cute, you guys. $14.99 for this beautiful set. And they just have so many different pieces for a collection that you can make for your own. Then I really gravitated to this really huge jingle bell, you guys. This is a huge piece. But it's absolutely stunning look at this beautiful like dusty gold and then the rope for the hanging i just loved it this was such a nice piece and only at seven dollars and 99 cents that was a really great bargain Walmart, Celeste, thank you so much for this book. You guys, I am very old fashioned when it comes to writing things down. I know I could, you, you know, put it into my phone or whatever in a note, but I really prefer to write things still out. So I have like my whole Saturday to do list here. And this little book is perfect, Celeste, because it fits so well into my Dooney bag. I can bring it with me. I can leave it in the car. It's just perfect. And it's, of course, so cute with all the ghosties. So, yeah, I'm very old fashioned, you guys, where I have to write things down. And I just, that's how I do my to-do list. It's just what it is. Or sometimes even grocery lists, I have to write them down. Um, hubby gets upset when I order things that we didn't need, especially if we still have them like in the pantry and we have double of them now. But I mean, it doesn't hurt to have double sometimes. But 
yeah i just i'm very old-fashioned so thank you so much celeste for sending this to me again so i am now at we just did portos uh we did walmart i went to ross already and the next thing on my list is going to be the Goodwill, which we are here in the city of Anaheim still. It's still Anaheim here. And we are on the Euclid Street store. And then from there, this is what I don't like. like all the stores open at different times. Walmart opens at 6. Ross opens at 8.30. Um, Portos was at 6.30. So now I'm like, okay, Goodwill is here. But then I have to run back to the other side of the street where the TJ Maxx is because they open at 9.30 and I'm here at the Goodwill, which opens at 9. So it's kind of like a lot of back and forth. And I'm trying to plan out my day. So I'm not like going back and forth, bouncing back and forth. But it is what it is. Then I'm going to head into Marshalls. And then we're going to start going into... Um, the Goodwills are going to be the last thing on my list. And then tomorrow, Sunday, is going to be dinner. So my dad's birthday is on Sunday. So we're going to do dinner in the afternoon. And then um, I want to go to another Ross, another Goodwill store in the city of Cyprus, and then another one in Garden Grove. And then I'm also going to be going to Dollar Tree as well to grab up a few goodies. So it's just a busy day and I have to go back home after the Goodwill stores and, and you guys just came with a pen, which is perfect, Celeste. Um, I have to go back home um, and uh, do some things there. Today, Saturday is going to be just a chill day. I'm not going to go anywhere out or anything. Joe is working, so it's just going to be me probably cleaning at home and then maybe doing like... Um, some spooky more movies yeah so that's what so far is on the plan for today heading into the thrift store i was very excited to come across these ray dunn boutique pieces so these are salt and pepper sellers and i just cannot believe that they were 99 cents these are older pieces as you guys can see they are part of a boutique collection that ray dunn brought out for boutique stores and they were only 99 cents i was very happy i absolutely love it when i come across an older ray dunn piece beautiful love 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 them and then there was a lot of cute little things today here at this euclid store in the city of anaheim there's this really cool candle holder with the skulls this definitely would have been a cool piece for halloween if they had another one so it could have been a matching set then there were these ray dunn ceramic trays I really tried not to buy these anymore and at $10, that's a little bit high in my opinion. It is an older tray and then these bookends were really cool. I like this black stallion, but again at $12.99 each, it wasn't for the set. I don't understand why their pricing has definitely gone up. It's These are definitely not thrift friendly prices. Some things are some things are not you just really have to pick and choose and fight your battles but unfortunately a lot of the cute pieces were not um very friendly in price this wonder shop ornament was five dollars and 99 cents but i think it's missing wings i think it's supposed to be an angel um so i don't know even at 5.99 that's a little bit crazy for that price I love finding also hearth and hand pieces. Again, this is from Target. Um, not the best price, but I still love finding a good piece. I definitely love older pieces as well, like this vintage cookie jar of Santa Claus. Going back to the Target items, they're usually half priced off. Every experience that I've had when I find a Target item, it's usually half the price that you would pay at Target. But I believe those canisters from Hearth and Hand are no longer carried by Target. And then I found these hide and eek throw blankets. Now these were brand new, but it looks like they were ripped from some type of tag. I don't know if they like were being held by some type of cardboard or if they were folded into like a, a bundle, like a little small bundle. Not that they were both together, but 
It was probably missing the packaging that was holding the blankets together and that's why they were here at Goodwill. This cute little pig art piece was so cute. It was originally from Big Lots. You guys will definitely have to wait and see if there were any buys from this complete shopping session. You guys will have to wait and come back for a future haul. Heading into TJ Maxx, I saw this maple syrup holder. It's really cute. I really love the print at the bottom and the green handle and then on the green on the inside. But this is commemorating the 20th anniversary of the Elf movie and I don't care for the Elf movie. I know, I know. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are gasping for air right now, but I just personally, it's not an all-time favorite of mine for Christmas. Then there was this cute little treat Christmas tree that was adorned with all these delicious macaroons. So adorable. I love all the sparkle and it's so cute. It's such a cute confectionery little tree for all of you that are making some baking themes. Then there was these cute little Santa Clauses in pink outfits and they were all popping out of these Christmas boxes. Some more Ray Dunn, this Merry Christmas with a little pom-pom tag on the side that says also ho ho ho. This was really cute. I just don't know if it would be a good idea to have that, but it was still fun finding all of these cute things at Marshall's. Then there was this really nice snowman. This definitely was giving me some vintage inspiration and that was $12.99. So there was definitely some really cute pieces here and there. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video of several shopping sessions and let me know in the comments below as always. Is there something that you saw that you would have picked up for yourself or is there something that you're currently searching for? Until the next time, this is Daniel from Golden Finds wishing you a happy day ahead whenever you you are watching this you guys and happy hunting until the next one bye